<coughs> yep. Yep. Three five. Yep. So umpire moves to the yep. centre circle. Ball in the air. We're underway in the third quarter. Yep. Hardingham immediately gets a tap down for Werribee. Yep. Now it stacks on the mill. Still in the centre circle. Three, Scores five. coming through from the other game. Hardingham, big punch forward. Right. Gets the ball inside uh, forward 50. Tadaro. He's tackled high in the opinion of the umpire. No, the uh, free kick went the other way. It is Muir with the free kick for Inverlees. <coughs> he kicks the ball. Hybens attacks the footy. Gets a handball back over the top to uh, McGuinness. Back to Hybens. They're uh, using the ball a bit better this time as it goes to Nelson for Inverlee. Goes strong to half forward. Contest there from Trotter. Ball comes to Grant Chug. Gets the kick away and uh, clears it out to the wide open spaces. Calvert leads in the race for the footy. Tried to tap it over the top. Now, finally, in the second effort, gets it to Pilkin. And Pilkin is immediately tackled, perhaps high, not to the umpire. Picked up there by Hall for Werribee Centres. All of a sudden, they're inside forward 50 as the ball drifts. Both trail Corio 11 4. Bell Post Hill 17 goals, 9 at half time. Thompson 5 1. Bannockburn 5 8. Geelong West 2 goals, 4. And Belmont scored, yes, 5 goals, 3 they are. But East Geelong are 16 goals, 8. So the ball's gone forward this time and the mark has been taken and it looks like the big fella in Lovell is also playing forward out of the, out of the goal square again. And Nathan Lovell has taken another mark. So uh, some interesting scores there. Manicky obviously need to win to give themselves a chance to get back into that top five with the current situation with Thompson. It looks like that will happen at the end of the day but need to hold on for the second half of football. Ansel, uh, John Ansel's just gone past and uh, shook the head as if to say he's finished uh, um, in a sling. So the ball back in the middle of the, to back into the goal square. The kick came in and it's picked up by, by Totoro. He tries to slam it on the left foot. Can't do it. Picked up by Muir. He's now he's slung. And the side, they lead him for on three goals, five. We've gone two minutes first. So a third quarter, the Greeny Cycling Sports scoreboard. So Hickleton it is who's uh, kicking in. A chip uh, goes down the middle of the ground to Muir. And Muir now. Dean Muir goes long over the centre. Trotter is a foot race. Trotter gets to the footy first. Ha uh, doesn't handle it well as the ball... Uh, Comes out finally to, uh, that was McConaughey for Invalida. Full forward, oh, coming from behind. Uh, Forbes couldn't take the mark and Bell does a uh, fantastic job in saving that attack. Goes to Leach, middle of the ground for Werribee. He runs five metres, kicks the ball 70. Gone to full forward and uh, Rose and Wick uh, couldn't hang on to the mark. Perhaps held without the footy. Now he's tackled. Oh, Tonaro, Tonaro accepts a handball, runs goalwards, has a uh, pot shot, unfortunately... Uh, didn't well and comes in and takes a mark in between centre half forward and full forward or full back for his side decides to go straight up the ground target's going to be car mark or a punch in front picked up at the back of the contest by Ryan Cornish who kicks round the corner doesn't have a lot of depth on it McDougal's going to be the first one to arrive goes on the right foot looking towards Kenyon he leads for the race of the ball but Devin Ellis is not too far away but Invalide still there still with chance and will obviously need to kick the next goal to get themselves back and rolling. So the ball in the forward line. Carr doing the ruck work, tapped down by Hardingham. Tried to post to put his body over the ball, picked up there by Cornish. Tried to feed the ball through, but it's picked up by Adam Muir this time. Ends up in the hands of Carr. He's tackled, brought over the boundary line. McDougal hands the ball to Smith. Smith kings into the back of someone. For uh, the Inverlee team, they desperately need a goal here. Ball thrown in. Good throw in. Cardingham in front, gets a tap down. Werribee through uh, Leach, get the ball clear towards centre wing. Kitchen in front, wouldn't, uh, shouldn't drop that one, takes the mark comfortably in, in front of his face. Looking for a uh, player, yeah, the wide open forward line here for Werribee. And this time Rosenwig gets away and uh, Schulte, I think, might have been his opponent on that occasion. And uh, takes the mark, goes on quickly, the long kick to full forward and uh, that's got him on the board. Craig Rosenwig. Looks to Rosenwig and... You know, he's not very far, so oh, I don't think there's so many excuses there unless you just get out of position, but uh, I, I would have expected a better effort from the Invalid defence there. So it's going to be a Hybens free kick in the middle of the ground. He tapped it over the top of the uh, opposing ruckman, then went and collected the ball himself, so the big fellow's doing well in the middle of the ground again. James Hybens has now just steady himself, looking for options. There's not a lot of movement down forward, so the short kick goes over the top. Higgleton has pushed forward. Title row, he stands the mark, so Zach Higgleton's going back. A little bit of confidence here. Thinks he might be able to carry the distance. <coughs> Tough.
Take a fair bit of a good kick from here, I would think, and every bit of he's got. But uh, Zach Eagleton will go back. He's going to kick from inside the centre square, I reckon. It's a long kick. It's a nice-looking kick. It's got the distance. It's going to land in the square. Actually, nearly come off a boot of the uh, Inverley player in the goal square. Damien Galley picks the ball up and transfers play very quickly towards David Leach. The point has been scored. Goes out wide to Toby Bray. Stands his ground. Ryan Cornish runs underneath him and gets the handball. And now kicks into the centre forward position. Going back is Kitchen. He can't get there. And the mark has been taken there by McHenry. McHenry chips the ball back over the top. And Hybens, the big fella, takes a mark right in the middle of the ground. He's looking for options. Had Quinn Living, but decided not to go to him. Goes out wide. And the mark has been taken by Lockie Hill on the far side of the ground. Stumbles, he went to kick, but he chips the ball towards centre half forward. A group of players, big fist from Hardingham. Ball comes down. Picked up there by McGuinness. Handball goes across to Pilkington. Kicks into centre half forward position. And again, Anthony Kitching reading the flight of the ball very well. Kicks round the corner. Goes looking for Rosenweg. The big fella just wanted to buffer the player out of the place. Goes round the corner. The big fella's kicked towards goal again. And it's going to hit Nathan Lovell on the chest. And a goal. And the big fella will call them both big fellas. He and, uh, yeah, a couple of injuries too. He and Ansel might have both been away and uh, have come back to the ground. So in the middle once again, it is uh, Hard Hardingham doing the ruck work middle of the ground, gets the ball clear. At this time, Hybens at ground level, picks the ball up, drives it back inside forward 50. This is where uh, Inverley are failing at the moment. They haven't got any forwards and not able to get the ball into that scoring zone as uh, well. The ball at forward 54, Inverley comes in, Harding and beautiful tap down, goes to Bray, tackle high, play on to the umpire, and uh, I think uh, Werribee here are playing Inverley at their own game. They're running, they're feeding the handball, and uh, they're being very positive in all they do. And in the middle of the ground, the uh, <coughs> ball does come clear for Inverley, but attacking the ball is Weatherly for uh, Werribee, and uh, here they go. They've got the ball clear. As uh, Tadaro has a bounce, perhaps tried to do too much, goes towards the uh, full forward position. And this time, well, Schulte, uh, I think he pushed uh, Rosenweg out on that occasion and did take the mark. Now finds Quinn Liven around centre-half back, goes to the lead at half forward. And that's a better kick and a better lead. And good t mark taken there by Peel for Inverley. He goes into the lead there of uh, that's uh, Kenyon. Kenyon on the ground as he goes towards full forward. Players go to ground as uh, no free kick paid by the umpire and uh, it is Werribee Central who take the ball to centre wing. Calvert uh, eludes his opponent with uh, far too much ease, <coughs> goes to the middle of ground, Leach takes the mark, plays on quickly. He uh, almost uh, should have handballed to his teammate but he got in the way as uh, good work in defence there by McFadden for Inverley. Oh, try to tackle high surely <coughs> and uh, umpires... Uh, well, I'm not too sure uh, what's happening here. Umpire signalled the wrong direction. And mark taken by Inverley as uh, Muir at half back. He goes towards half forward. Mark not taken. Ball at ground level. Inverley working hard, but Leach picks it up. And here go uh, Werribee Centrals again. The run from half back through Weatherly towards half forward. It is Kitchen. Seems to be playing the uh, the role at centre half forward. Now Rosenwick. We'll see how uh, fit he is. Gets the ball. Beautiful oh, handball back to Pilkington in good position. Pilkington tackled as he kicked for goal. And lead Inverley 3 6 24. The Grandy Cyclone Sport. 12 minutes gone, third quarter. So the kick straight up the ground. Hits Trotter, then bounces off his chest. It ends up with Hybens, who kicks round the corner. Has a player out wide. It's Lockie Hill. He traps that ball well, but the pressure comes. And uh, we have done this really well this afternoon. Now it's Back in the hands of Pilkington, goes backwards, finds Leach, needs, needs to struggle tackle, Hybens a strong tackle, and the resulting free kick, now the advantage is paid, and Lockie Hill away with the ball, chip short, finds Quinn Levin, he's a good tackle there from Cornish, but he's able to release the ball, finds Adam Muir, goes back on his left foot, needs to come back inside and does, goes looking towards David Peel, oh great, oh, had a fair bit of it, was held by the hand, the ball went back towards Kenyon, from outside 50, loads up, goes long towards goal, and that's a nice kick from Nathan Kenyon. Here's and so far, Werribee Central's winning out. As the ball goes in the air again, Hyben's up high. Beautiful tap down to Muir. He's tackled as he tried to crash through the pack. Quinn Levin does finally get a handball to McFadden. McFadden to the lead at half forward. Peel, too much pace there for Ellis. Uh, doesn't get around him, however. Now he gets a little chip pass, but intercepting there was Burke. And on half back, Burke has taken the mark for the Werribee side. Just chips it forward. Finds Rasbone, 
and uh, just playing the possession footy at the moment as they go to the middle of the ground. Where it'll be Simon Calvert on oh, one hand did it far too easily. Gets a handball to Tadaro. He, in fact, it was Quarrier. Quarrier now into uh, the forward 50. Kitchen. Will he be in the road of his uh, big uh, teammate in Lovell? No, he doesn't. Lovell follows up brilliantly. Puts his uh, opponent out of the contest far too easily. Now it's four on one for Inverlee and uh, Rosenwig. Uh, Central, 15 minutes gone in the quarter. 60 plays 30. Werribee in front. From behind, Hybens gets a tap down, but it comes back to Burke of uh, Werribee Central's. Numbers went out for Inverlee. As they take the footy now, go towards centre wing. The lead has come there, and it's a good chest mark taken by Carr. Carr now on the left, goes towards the centre half forward. Fenton uh, doesn't get the mark. Peel picks up the crumbs. He goes goalwards and has missed to the right hand side. Andy Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard. Now 16 minutes gone. So Bell kicks outside 50 and finds Leach. Leach goes short. He stumbles. He kicked. The McConaughey couldn't take the mark. Picked up there by Pilkington. Runs around that player. Kicks back into the half forward line. Kitchen uses his body well. Just needs to pick the ball up. Needed support. Has it. Here's Quarrier. Quarrier kicks from about 40 metres out and kicks the well, Actually, it was only about 30 and actually just made it over the top of the defence in the goal square. So open goal 30 metres out. You, you don't miss those when you're a key forward. But uh, in the middle once again, 50-50 of the ruck contest at ground level. It's Trotter, he's uh, tackled by Pilkington as uh, Muir, Dean, picks it up for Inverley. Kicks it uh, inside forward 50. That's uh, a better effort there of a contest as uh, the ball comes to ground level. It is uh, gone back to numbers with uh, Werribee Centrals here. Back into the corridor. Gee whiz, players everywhere. Taken by Chug. Chug for Werribee Central, straight down the corridor, looking for Kitchen in front. Uh, good contest there. As <coughs> the ball come to ground, numbers, uh, well, they were with Inverlee, but uh, Kitchen has done well. He's kept the ball in there, and uh, the ball will be put in the air by the umpire. Goes in the air. However, well, both uh, Ruckman missed the footy on that occasion. Trotter uh, grabbed front on. <coughs> didn't give him too much chance, so I didn't think, to get rid of the football. And uh, <coughs> I think uh, Clayton Trotter... Having a little bit of a discussion with the umpire, <coughs> to no avail, naturally, as the ball now from Leach, outside 50, a huge kick, missed to the left-hand side of the big Well, Third quarter scoreboard, we've ticked past 18 minutes. So Brent Ling is going to do the kicking in. Might be a chance to experiment, he says he never gets a chance to play forward today, might be the day, I think. <laughs> anyway, he goes straight down the middle, up towards Leach. Leach just dumps the ball back inside, 50, coming up to meet the ball was Quarrier, overran it, picked up by Muir, and this is Dean, kicks outside, 50, goes to the half-forward line, Purcell by himself, takes the mark. Was going to feed the ball over the top towards Peel, but has Carr on the move now, and kicks in that direction. Matthew Carr comes up and takes the mark outside there, forward 50. Further afield this time, and it's a nice-looking kick, and the mark is taken there by Kenyon. <coughs> so a good transfer of play from the half back line just some clean skills and from his last kick distance will not be a problem just a matter of accuracy now for Nathan Kenyon so he's going to kick from about 35 metres out 45 degree angle probably a little bit worse than that so he comes in now deliberate shot at goal it's a nice looking kick it's going to go across the face of goal though and I think it's been there's a mark been there taken and it's Zach Eagle that's taken it not too much defensive work there from the Werribee side, but he's right against the behind post. Won't have a lot of ground to move. So Smith comes in just to cover that point, kicks back inside, and the mark notes I'm on, says the umpire. <laughs> so he's going to go back and do it again. Zach Higgleton has the ball. So he's blown time on, that's probably why. So Zach Higgleton from right beside the behind post will probably run around, give himself a little bit of scope, kicks the banana, and I think he likes it off the boot. He does. It's through for a goal. With the uh, footy, goes up. This time it's Hardingham. Got the tap down to Leach. Beautiful ruck work and uh, well robed. Leach to half forward. Oh, Anthony Kitchen. Great body work. Basically held Brackley out with one arm and, and took the mark in the other arm, which was... Uh, well, probably vintage Anthony Kitchen. Now he goes for the chip pass, and he's got oh. uh, player absolutely, totally unmarked. It's Braves just come onto the ground, isn't it? That is. Has uh, came on through the interchange, just worked his way down to the forward pocket, and uh, totally unmarked, 15 metres out, 45, 45 degree angle. We're right behind the line of the kick on this occasion. So, Toby Bray. Moves in, beautiful kick, straight over the goal umpire's head. That's his first goal for the day. And uh, the, the umpire in the middle of the ground, 
And it's going to be Hybens again, this time Partingham up over the top, knocks it forward. Quinn Livin runs onto it, sweeps the ball back between his legs, but it's Hall that's there now. And it's going to be a contested ball, and Dean Muir gets on hands and knees, tries to get through the contest. Nelson's also in their support. He finally works his way clear, and the kick is smothered off the boot, but ends up with McDougall of Inverley. So from the centre wing, they kick the ball into the half-forward line. Peel out on a strong lead. Devin Ellis never far behind his uh, opponent, and he takes possession of the ball. He jumps on the ball now. Might get pinged here, and the umpire's got his leg spread. This time he blows the whistle, and the free kick goes to David Peel here. Probably a little bit unlucky, Devin Ellis, but David Peel with a resulting free kick goes back inside, has Quinn Levin, can play on from that position, and drives the ball in long. Target's going to be Higgledon, but it's a kick that's ill-directed, and the mark has been taken by Weatherly from the Werribee side. He now goes back to the far side of the ground, and we're talking over the uh, other side with... Uh, McConaughey now trying to get the ball, can't take the ball up or can't pick the ball up. Handball comes back towards Chug, Chug to Kelbert, and they seem to have plenty of time and space. He kicks the ball back into centre half forward. Again, the kick doesn't have the carry on it, and Hyben slips in and takes the mark. He goes by hand to Trotter. Trotter goes by hand to Nelson. And from a half back line, he runs to the wing and kicks into the half forward line. But again, <coughs> I'm not too sure where he's going because the only one that was there was Craig Hardingham, and he's the biggest bloke on the ground. <laughs> so he would have been able to see him. It's Weatherly now. Kicks the ball outside 50. That's a little bit silly. There's a fair bit of pressure put on there. Hall has a free kick and wants to play on the umpire. Let's him go and now calls oh. him back after he kicks it. So he's going to have to come back all that way. <coughs> David Hall. And the resulting free kick comes back beyond centre wing. I think that's poor umpiring because there was no in, uh, interruption to play. It was all continual. Well, everyone had stopped, though. That's the thing. Like, if everyone stops, you know, it's the same as what happens in the AFL. But, you know, you can't just wait until he's kicked the ball 50 metres down the field to change your mind on the call. So the kick wasn't as good as he uh, would have hoped yeah, for. And Toby Bray... <laughs> Dives in on Tockwoods. Pilking in the rise, puts some pressure on. He got interfered with. Goes back towards Chug. Gets a little kick off his boot. Pilking has got himself over the ball again. That's Muir who emerges. Now the advantage is paid. It goes to Hockey Hill. Goes into the centre half forward position. But again, big Hardingham up over the top. Makes the spoil. Good clean pick up from Bell to Smith to Devin Ellis. On hands and knees. He's going to be caught again, but he's able to feed the ball out. This time David Peel jumps on the ball. Needs to get it out. Otherwise he's going to be pinged. The umpire's making a few little mistakes now. Ball tapped down, picked up there, working his way through was Trotter, comes out the back. Dean Muir again puts his head over the ball and gets a high tackle. So he's done that three or four times in the last two or three minutes in one position every time. Dean Muir goes long into the goal square. Higgledon's there, numbers with the Werribee side, front of the contest, a big fella Hardigan bends down, picks the ball up, goes back, finds Hall. Hall goes on his left side, takes a bounce, has one, has two, can keep running to centre half back, long kick, will go to centre half forward again, Kitchen's a target, McFadden gets a hand on the ball, Kitchen just kicks the ball off the ground, playing leading to the race of the ball is Tadaro, he's able to pick the ball up, gets back on his right side, Kitchen pushes forward again, the kick doesn't have the carry on it, and it goes to Brackley, who then changes, or doesn't change direction, goes back to where the ball came from, and has found Quinn Livin from the half-back line, goes into centre wing, kick. There's a lot of skills being made now, skill errors being made, and picked up there by Pilkington. Handball's over the top to Leach on hands and knees, goes further to Bray. Bray back to Pilkington. Always seems to take that extra step to get rid of the ball, and he's prepared by Rathbone now, has the ball, good tackle, picked up there by McFadden. He's uh, besieged by a number of Werribee players. At the, uh, what's everyone going on? Nearly 27 minutes. Ball goes back towards McConaughey and he goes over the top and the ball towards Hall. Uh, uh, ball uh, picked up uh, Hall, allowed Leach to pick it up. He accepted the handball. Now it's over to his teammate in Galley. Galley to Hardingham. Hardingham for Werribee Central. Out wide on his own, Simon Colbert. Why would you leave him on his own? He's uh, true centre wing. Kicks the ball now towards an R forward. Numbers with Inverlee about six to one. Kitchen on his own. He's not very impressed, uh, Anthony Kitchen, actually. But uh, by the same token, Inverlee having real trouble getting the ball out of there. It's uh, a series of handballs. They finally now come to decide to run. Centre wing, long kick towards forward 50. Hickleton held by one arm, surely. Umpire doesn't see that one. As uh, it's Werribee Central again through McGuinness. Takes it out wide. That's uh, Calvert again on his own. Handball over to Chug. Chug, middle of the ground. Now it's a chip long to full forward. Rosenwick, one out. Not able to take the mark. Ball comes to ground. Tadaro at uh, ground level. Can't pick it up. 
as it is uh, Ling kicks the ball off the ground looking for the safety of the boundary 57 and a half minutes gone ball thrown in half forward flank forward Werribee Central Simon Calvert does the ruck work takes the footy back to the middle of the ground Leach has some uh, support there from Hall and uh, Hall it is who gives that support gets the footy has a bounce we're not too sure where he's going uh, I don't think he does no, so either but uh, now he's gone uh, round the ground to uh, the centre half back position look for the boundary Calvert was who he was looking for eventually he's uh, dispossessed on that occasion back middle of the ground Alice great body work gets the footy immediately tackle handball clear Trotter for Inverlee a control pass does he find a teammate he does and this time it's McDougal where's McDougal gone out wide and the mark has been taken by Zach Hickel worse than a 45 degree angle but uh, certainly kickable as the siren sounds. He kicks the footy. It's uh, not a bad-looking kick. Where did it go? It's got to be a point, doesn't it? No, it didn't score. Hick, um, I know. Harding, Harding, Harding punched it forward. No, I'd suggest it is three-quarter time, and the ball did not score. So at three-quarter time, the scoreboard shows the home side, Werribee Central's 10.